Hi there, in today's episode what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint what I saw at um, Blackpool North Pier when we went to see Landscape Artist of the Year being done. They were painting the North Pier, uh, as you can see here, Landscape Artist of the Year, and it looks like that is going to be their view. So it wasn't quite what I saw. Um, the building at the end and the two little buildings halfway up, they sort of made a little story for me. So um, that's what I want to paint. Just doing a little small scale study um, of it. Nothing spectacular. But I just want to capture that um, those th the th dynamics between those three characters of buildings on the end of the pier. The first thing I'm going to do is move the satellite out of the way. Use my sketchbook and just get some ideas down of this lazy creature that's in my head with two sentries watching over it. Here we go. This is what I came up with. This to me is what the building at the end of the pier looks like and these two little sentries, I've actually moved them a little bit closer together um, they are spaced out a bit more on the pier, but that's pretty much a sketch of where I want things to go. Um, the movement in the sky, I want to go that way, and then the sea movement that way, and then the sand that way. So everything's coming around to this point here. See if it works. Don't know until you try. Right. I'll get started on it and just decide where everything's going to go. I'm actually using the um, cobalt blue in this one. I know I don't usually use cobalt. I usually use the ultramarine. In this particular case, I wanted the cobalt for the sky. I'm going to bring a little bit of ultramarine in for I want that a bit higher actually. So I'm planning out, but I'm trying to plan out in colours not too far from where I'm going at the end so I don't need to mix it too much so I'm gonna ultramarine a bit of cobalt and a bit of cadmium yellow to get that green of the sea that was very present that was very present present on that particular day. I think if I was going to be absolutely true to this um, sky colour, I'd probably go um, cerulean blue. But I haven't got any, so cobalt's better than ultramarine in this case, so that's what I'm going with. But I think if I'm going to be painting um, skies around the world, maybe I will need to get get used to using some different blues. So maybe get used to using the. Cerulean blue, Prussian blue, 
if seas and skies are going to become my thing, which that's the plan, obviously with all the things, but a lot of that in there. But for now, I like my six colours, seven today. So I'm trying to build in these lines of almost hanging cloud. They're not big fluffy clouds, they're like lines of hazy fluff. I'll just carry on, finish off this sky now. There's the first layer of uh, sky put on. I'm going to work on the sea and the sand now. I feel as though I need to move up a brush size. Um, that's it. This bit will only be seen through the pier, so it's not that important. But what I do want to do is add a bit of atmospheric perspective that that side of the beach is further away than this side. Black pearl sand is actually, nowadays, a lovely sand, now that it, the place is cleaned up. So I'm just putting on background colours to work my uh, pier onto. I must admit, the landscape artist of the year people, they were in pods rather than a studio and on their day it moved all day, you know the scene kept changing, at least my scene's standing still and then I'm adding a bit of what I want into it as well so, but it's that wanting to capture the colour scheme and the seaside and even though it's out of my imagination to a certain degree, I still want it to be um, re recognisable. These dark bits here, these will make sense later. I did put them on my initial drawing. I'm going to glaze over that as my starting point. Um, whilst I'm doing that, you can have a look at other things that happened on the day at Blackpool. Here we're going, Blackpool. I think it's going to get nicer this afternoon. Um, we have a problem, um, we've just walked maybe a mile and we can't get past. So now it's a case of <laughs> going for a paddle. <laughs> you don't seem happy about this Catherine. <laughs> right, it's not too bad actually. Oh my gosh, that's cold. Uh, the perilous sands of Blackpool Central. And Jill is going to brave a puddle. Picking away across, boots in hand. To a backdrop of gold swirling. And the sun's come out. 
I would say this is where the fun starts. Now I get to paint my creatures on the pier. Uh, right. Just getting the line of the pier in. Uh, and then it really is not that much higher than the horizon. Weird. Weird, weird. I'll get the creature in first and then I can get the proportions right of the underneath. So in doing this, I'm trying to capture the character of the building that's on the pier. So it's like thinking about anatomy and shading on the buildings and everything all at once. It's really weird. See, I don't want to go too dark because this building is actually still quite far away. I'm going to get the two centuries in first down this end before I put the mid buildings in. There we go. Now that I've got an idea of where my characters are going to sit, I can now paint in the rest of the pier. Very strange things, aren't they, piers? I understand why they did them especially on this coast because to actually get to the sea at some times when the tide is wrong is pretty much impossible. Right, I'm quite happy with the pier bit now. The actual structure of the pier. I'm going to just before I let this dry so I can work into it more, I'm going to start on these sections. And what these are going to be is actually pools of water. And in them will be a reflection of what's above them. And I do need to leave that bit to dry completely now. That's it. I need to leave that to dry maybe till tomorrow now. Fantastic. Thank you very much. This gives you a better idea of where we are at the end of the first day. And I'll do a bit more tomorrow. Day two of painting. I'm going to be concentrating on the details in all this now. I might get it finished today. Details in all this, the sea, the reflection, and just trying to get it look uh, until I'm happy with it, really. 
So let's get on with it. So whilst I'm doing this bit now, if you have a look at what the contestants were doing in Landscape Artist of the Year. All the pods ready for Landscape Artist of the Year and it looks like that is going to be their view. It's lunchtime at the moment. So these will all be halfway through. spent a bit of time on the top pieces now the building at the end of the north pier and these two little sentries that I was talking about um, it looks like they're guarding the way through to him at the back um, I'm quite pleased with the way the sea and the sky have turned out so I'm just going to work on the pier a bit more um, to make it look a bit more structurally sound which is funny for Blackpool Pier and then work on these puddles at the front a bit more then I think it will be pretty much finished so I should get this done today should do and whilst I'm doing this bit if you want to see what me and Catherine got up to a little bit more in Blackpool <music> So this is the most exciting thing of the day. A rumpy, rumpy. <laughs> Thank you, you see, it's gonna be a rumpy bite. <laughs> this is just shit fast. It, it's getting a bit fast now. <laughs> you look enthralled. Just a bit beyond words. I'm just finishing off around the pier and what I want to do is I just want to put in here that there is going to be another area of puddle so I'm going to put in that little bit of puddle there in a minute there we go whilst i'm waiting for this if you want to go and have a look at um a little painting that i did once we finished at blackpool we actually went up the road to Lytham and in the sand dunes i just did a little quick watercolor sketch um didn't take long so whilst i'm just waiting for this to dry put some puddle on i can go and uh See what I did with that one.
trick of it now, what I'm going to try and do is actually paint the reflections of the pier in the pulp puddles. I think I've got the background colour of the puddle right, which is sort of a reflection of this background colour here. I'm just mixing in a little bit of this gloss medium to uh, keep it like a watery glaze. Now I can put in the stanchions of the pier now. I don't know if they're called stanchions. I've just used that word because it sounded right. I am no, in no way an engineer of piers. Right, starting here, it's going to go very carefully across and get the reflection of the pier at the top. There we go. Hello, Grinny. Are you coming to say hello? Gwyn's helping now. What do you think I should do next, Gwyn? Hey? She thinks she thinks I should take her for a walk, I think. Last little bit now. I'm just gonna waterify the puddles. Yes, it is technical term. Like so. And that is my Blackpool North Pier interpretation. all done thank you very much for watching um subscribe like share um whatever it's lovely to hear comments as well um and happy painting i shouldn't really say happy painting somebody else does that is it bob ross i think it might be anyway I'm going to have to think of something else that I can say at the end of each video. Uh, but again, thanks very much and see you soon.